Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry, we're going to discuss elements, compounds, and mixtures. Um, should be a quick lecture today. All right, so today's essential question, what's the difference between elements, compounds, and mixtures? Elements. An element is the simplest form of matter that can exist, and we're going to spend the majority of this unit studying elements. Um, actually, the smallest single sample of an element is an atom. That's what we're going to be studying. Okay, elements are the building blocks for all other substances. Okay, they're, they're, they're what you need to make up anything. And as I just stated, the smallest single sample of an element is called an atom. An element or an atom cannot be separated into simpler substance by chemical change. That's what makes them an element. Okay, or an atom. It, it's, it's the smallest unit, the smallest whole unit. And the periodical table of elements lists all of the known elements. Thus the name periodic table of elements. A compound is made up of two or more chemically bonded elements. We're going to spend a whole unit talking about this. But what you need to know now is that they're, they're hooked together chemically. For example, water, which you guys probably know the chemical formula for water, so you already know some chemistry, right? The chemical formula for water is H2O. And it's made up of hydrogen atoms, two of them, and oxygen, one of them. And they're hooked together. So compounds are substances that can be separated into simpler substances, but only by chemical means. You can't physically break them apart. Okay, A pure substance. Pure substances are substances that cannot be separated by physical means. Every pure substance has a unique, definite set of chemical and physical properties. And we're going to be spending quite a bit of time talking about chemical properties in future. Both elements and compounds are pure substances. Both elements and compounds are pure substances. Remember, um, well, okay, move on. Mixtures. Before I talk about mixtures, remember, a mixture is going to, what I'm going to talk about mixtures is going to sound kind of like a compound. But a compound is two or more atoms that are chemically hooked together. A mixture, on a, a, the other hand, is a physical blending of two or more pure substances. Um, so, for example, if I were to take salt and sand, I could dump them together, shake it up, and now I have a bucket of salt and sand, but it's still salt and sand. Okay, you haven't made anything new. A when you have um, a chemical bonding, you're actually making something new. So a mixture, you're not making anything new. Okay? The proportion of materials or particles in a mixture can change. This is not true of a compound. Because of this, the physical and, prop um, and chemical, there should be a word chemical in there, properties of mixtures can vary or change okay, with a mixture. Again, not true of a compound. There are two types of mixtures. There are heterogeneous, which means different, and homogeneous, that means the same. So heterogeneous mixtures are not uniform in composition. Okay, so that means, well, let's keep reading and I'll explain it to you. Not every sample of a particular heterogeneous mixture is the same. Examples of heterogeneous mixtures are chocolate chip cookies, salsa, soil, granite rock. Okay, so you think about a chocolate chip cookie particularly a homemade one. You could take a bite and get just cookie and no chocolate. You could get another bite where you have like four or five chocolate pieces and just a little bit of cookie. Right? So each bite is slightly different. So that's what's meant by it's not uniform in composition. Um, another example, has anyone ever made orange juice out of that? I don't know what it's called. You get it in the freezer, it's in that tube, uh, orange juice sludge, I don't know. So you dump it in and then you put water in. And before you stir it, you got this layer at the bottom of orange juice sludge stuff and water at the top. That would be a heterogeneous mixture. You probably wouldn't want to drink it. It's not the same all the way throughout. Okay? We've also got homogeneous mixtures. They are uniform in composition. Every sample of a particular heterogeneous mixture is going to be exactly the same. Um, so an example, like let's use a cookie example. So maybe a, what kind of cookie? Uh, 
a chocolate cookie, not a chocolate chip, just a chocolate cookie. Every bite of the chocolate cookie has chocolate in it, right? It's all the same all the way through. Or that orange juice, if we now stir it up really good, in theory, the first drink should be just like the last drink. Okay, it's the same all the way through. Examples of homogeneous mixtures are salt, salt water, and blood. Um, there's lots more. Homogeneous mixtures are also known as solutions, and we'll spend a whole unit on solutions next semester. Okay, I told you it was short. That's it. Um, there's a lot of terminology, um, but not very complicated. So just, you know, review this, kind of know the terminology, and we'll be spending a lot of time on all those, these topics throughout the year. All right, see you tomorrow.